The tragedy in Tucson could tighten security at the U.S. Capitol. It also calls into question how often elected leaders will meet with the public. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson spoke with local council members tonight. Danita, in their first meeting of the new year, Cleveland City Council members expressed outrage about the shootings in Arizona and concern about their safety. None of us have any security. And yes, we do deal with some really, really low-down elements. Comments at the close of tonight's council meeting focused entirely on the tragedy in Arizona. For Zach Reed, it was personal. He attended a leadership conference with Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords five years ago. Now my friend lies in a coma. She lies there and I hope I don't cry today as I cried on Saturday thinking about my friend. The tragedy has also hit home for Joe Simperman. Two years ago, someone set fire to his home while he and his family were sleeping. Elected officials have to be very, very aware, especially in this day and age, because anger is just so close to the surface. Security at City Hall has been increased since 9-11 and council members can get police protection for public events if they request it. But there is still a risk. You can't police your way out of mental imbalances. You can't police your way out of somebody who's going to take the law in their own hands. Councilman Terrell Pruitt believes there's strength in numbers. I always try to take someone with me, you know, not only for, uh, not only for, you know, administrative support, but also just to make sure that, you know, you're never alone because you never know who you may run into. On the heels of the tragedy, Reed has proposed a resolution calling for tougher sentencing laws. People who bear arms to do bad things the good people need to go to jail for a long time. The mayor and the council president have police bodyguards. They are the only public officials in the city to have that arrangement. However, there have been security updates, numerous security updates made in and around City Hall in the last year or so. I'm Curtis Jackson, News Channel 5.